So next thing we'll talk about is Slidekick. And I am going to do this part as almost a demonstration. Um, we are going to uh, really kind of start getting into some more detailed directions. So my advice to you guys while I kind of demo some of this stuff, send questions in the chat box. But uh, if you're like me and you like to, um, uh, you're a hands-on learner, right? That's totally fine. But just know that, um, you know, with what almost 30 of us in here, um, you might get, you might get a little left behind. Okay. So I want to, I want to preface that with saying that it, everything that I talk about right now about sidekick and everything I show you to do is, uh, also available in the slide guide, um, which is the only link in our announcements. And I'll send that link at the end of the session too. So um, Slidekick is basically, if you have been a member for a while, maybe you're joining us because you, your um, older document that you, you, you used to access our resources went blank. <laughs> okay, is anybody in here that's joining us for that? Um, maybe not, but if you are, Slidekick is um, basically, uh, think of it as a super cool website, okay? A lot of our users found a spreadsheet to be in incredibly intimidating. And that was something we always kind of struggled with. And so we decided to um, really listen to the masses in a way and, you know, find a better way to list our resources. Um, so Slidekick, that's what it is. It's basically a super cool website, okay? <laughs> you'll open it and you'll use it in your browser just like you would a website. And you can use it on your phone or your computer. Um, and it was developed by teachers for teachers. So uh, you won't find it in your app store or on the Google Play Store. And if you did find something and paid $9.99 for it, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and, but our, our app is free. And it is called a web app, if anybody knows what that is. But it's a, a super cool website. Just think of it that way. It lists all of our resources. That's what a lot of people get a little bit confused about because, you know, shouldn't I just have to go to one place, right? And, and then be able to use it, use it as a reward. Well, um, the difference between our resources and other groups is that um, you don't have to print anything, you don't have to cut anything out, but you do have to be a little bit savvy with your, um, your mobile device and know uh, your your browser really is all you really need on your phone. So we're going to uh, go over that today and go through the steps for this. So it is compatible with computers and mobile devices. Um, so that's why you really won't find it in your, you won't find it in your app store or on the Google Play Store because um, it is a web app. It lists all of our resources, okay? So we have over, let's see, I just did a count earlier. We have almost 12,000 files in our in our um, in our resource bank, okay. Now those are just files. We have we have thousands more feedback templates and lesson notes and awesome things. But um, we we have to have some way uh, for our members to search effectively, right? There are so many resources, so we needed a way to organize them more efficiently and um, make it to where everything was searchable more more easily. So. All right, so I'm going to not go through these parts right here, but we are going to actually look at this on my phone. Um, so we're gonna do these steps together, um, or I'm going to show you, and, and like I said, if you're a hands-on learner, go ahead. You can try it along with me, but just know, um, yeah, just know that you might get a little left behind, okay? <laughs> Feel free to send your, your questions in the chat though. Oh, and Dot said, yes, this is a good point, Dot. Um, we ask that that you do not share like resource links and the link to our um, web app outside of the group. And the reason being is that we want to make sure that everybody who's using our our resources have have a, has um, the ability to ask questions and get help when they need it. Um, but also, where our our resources are so closely tied to VIP Kid curriculum that we needed a way to ensure that people using this and accessing it are not people who are from a competing company or something. So um, we verify, you know, your status as a VIP kid teacher when you join our group. Okay, so um, please don't share this link outside of the group. Okay, um, let's see. I know, oh yeah, yeah, yeah Doreen, I know. <laughs> yeah, that's, um, 
the, this is why we're going to do it on my phone. We're going to do it together. A lot of the directions on that, that PowerPoint are a little bit outdated. Okay, so let me go ahead and do that. Let me share my phone screen. Bear with me. This sometimes gives me a little bit of trouble. Okay, hold on. Um, share. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Okay, got it. Maybe. Okay, can you see it? Maybe. Yes. Yes. Oh, yay. Okay. I didn't hear y'all for a second. I thought, oh no, I lost them. Sometimes Zoom is not very nice. Okay, so you'll see I've got uh, on my phone here and I've got my, my phone on do not disturb. So let's hope that I'm not disturbed. Um, so we are going to open up Slidekick. And once again, Slidekick is uh, our free web app that you will use to search for files, okay? Um, and you will not necessarily use Slidekick to present Google Slides, but you'll use Slidekick to find and search for and open our files, okay? All right, so um, let's see. Okay, now I see, I see some questions kind of popping up and stuff in the chat box. You can send them, that's fine, but just know that I'm going to be starting from the very beginning, okay? So if you've already accessed Slidekick, um, you might want to watch these steps carefully, especially if you're having issues, okay? All right, so I'm gonna open up Safari. Okay, so when I open up Safari, and if you're on um, an Android, you can open up Chrome. That's what I suggest is Chrome. Um, now, Safari is awesome, and you, uh, you know, it's your iPhone, if you're using an iPhone or iPad, it's, it's your, you know, device's native browser. Um, there are some other browsers that I'd love to recommend, and I'm going to recommend afterwards, but let me show you first kind of just how to access things, and um, then we'll get into some of those more specifics about full screen and things like that, okay? So when you open up your phone's browser, you're going to want to type in the URL to Slidekick. Now, this is where a lot of people get hung up because the link is very, um, you have to type it in exactly as it appears. Uh, in the slide guide or right here on my phone. Um, so I'm going to type in slide slidekick.glideapp.io. Okay, now you'll see um, I'm not putting any www's or https colon slash slash, none of that. Okay, so when I do this, I'm going to see a screen that looks like this. And my suggestion is to X the little pop-up out. We aren't going to add it to our home screen, and I will give you some. I'll give you some reasons why. Um, number one, if you do add it to your home screen, then you are taking away the ability to reload if you if something goes awry or if something is moving a little sluggish, right? Um, so if you add it to your home screen, this little reload button it goes away. So that's why, that's my big, my biggest reason why. I think it's probably not um, always in your best interest to add it to your home screen. So I'm going to X this out, okay? I'm going to X this out. And I'm going to, um, before I do anything, I'm going to actually add it to my bookmarks or my favorites because that way I don't have to type in slidekick.glideup every single time I want to open it. So let, uh, let me show you how I do that on my iPhone, but you might be working on a different device. That's what's a little tricky about giving instructions for this because every device is different. But if you are on an iOS phone, like an iPhone, you can tap down here, just your browser menu in general. Find that and you'll find it, okay? Um, but if you are uh, in Chrome, I think it's probably like a three dot button. That's where you'll wanna look. So I'm going to, I'm just pulling down, I'm just dragging down. And if you're on an older, maybe iPad or something, you might have to swipe over to see more options, but I am actually going to select right here, add to favorites. Um, there are two options. Your, your phone might say only add bookmark or something, but just find something that has like a star or a book, okay? Look for the star of the book. And tap add to favorites, and then you'll see a slide kicks icon right there, and it'll say slide kick, and you will click save. Okay. And when you do that, you, uh, if you don't know where your bookmarks are on your device, nine times out of 10, 
Anytime you open up your browser and you tap in the URL bar, you will see your favorites or your bookmarks down here. Okay, so you can kind of see I've got, it's added to my favorites right here. So I can just open up a tab and tap on the URL bar and tap Sidekick. Okay, so let's sign in. Um, this part is a little, um, a little straightforward, I think, but um, don't, don't overcomplicate it. Here's the thing. I'm going to type in my email address, and I've done this a million times, actually. Um, I'm going to type in my email address, and I'm going to tap Get Pin. Anytime that you see this screen that says, we'll email you a pin to sign in, you need to just type, type in your same email address and tap Get Pin. Okay. Um, Uh-oh. I hear my little one crying. Uh-oh. Uh, he's with dad, so hopefully every, everything's okay. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm going to tap, you know, type in my email address, hit get pin. I don't want to tap this, I already have a pin. Um, the reason being is because anytime that you need to sign in to Psychic, whether it be on a new device or maybe you cleared your browsing history and it signed you out or something, um, you're going to have to get a new pin, okay? Um, the pins are not passwords. So just remember that pins are not passwords. And so anytime that you see this screen right here, you just need to tap get a new, get a pin, okay? Now, um, whenever I tap get pin, I'm going to just, I'm going to wait and it's going to send me or email me a pin and it should be pretty instant. Um, and if you don't see it instantly, then you might have to um, look in your junk box maybe. I've seen some, oops, my phone turned sideways. I've seen some instances where it's taken up to, uh, I don't know, three minutes or so. Um, but I think that uh, if you're using a Gmail account, it tends to work a little bit faster. So I'm gonna look up my pin real quick. And you can, you know, on your device, you can, um, you know, leave this screen and go and open up your email on your phone if you want but I don't, I'm not signed into my Gmail on here. Wah. Hang on, I'm, I'm retrieving my pin. That's the second step. So I entered my email address in, and now I'm retrieving my pin, okay? <laughs> anybody already been through these steps before? And anybody have any specific questions about this step while I'm looking this up? I did, and mine went to spam, so you yeah. have to look there. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, I think... Um, yeah, you're, you're, a lot of people's uh, inboxes, um, I didn't, we didn't know this until recently, but they, there are sometimes two, um, like one's called junk and one's called spam. So definitely check both of those, okay? So if you're not getting anything in your inbox, definitely check your junk box or your spam box. Mine always go to my inbox, but I'm not sure what the rhyme or reason is to it all, but. I don't know. Um, okay, I think so I've got mine oh. went to my junk because it's a work email and I think ah. it, it's a school, so it filters things. Yes, probably so. Yeah, that's a good point. I, I never thought about that. I um I've been uh, trying to encourage, or I I think I put in the directions too, um recently. So I maybe not have seen that yet, but I've I've I'm thinking that Gmail accounts maybe it just is more instant because I've always used my Gmail and it it is pretty instant. Okay, so I'm going to type in my PIN, 18737, and I'm going to tap sign in. And I'm going to remember uh, that I don't need to remember that PIN number. It's not a password. So just always, um, always get, if you ever see that sign in screen again, it means that your, oh, that's sad. It means that your browsing history has been cleared. So your browsing history Anytime that you clear your cache or clear your browsing data, it will sign you out of Slidekick, okay? Um, so just know that every time you do that, it will sign you out. Um, so you'll just need to do those same steps. So enter in your same email address and tap get pin, okay? Um, now I see, I see uh, on here, I've got three screens or three things that I can pick from at the bottom, okay? Oh, Claire, good question. If I'm using my phone and I'm... Um, that's a great question. No, you cannot. <laughs> so it's, um, it's not a password. So think about it that way. It's just not a password. It's like one of those things that it's like, 
we'll send you a text to verify you are who you say you are, right? So it's like a one-step verification thing. Um, and then you, then you will, any, any new device that you want to sign into, you will get a new pin. Yeah. Uh, just see it. Refresh your browser. Yeah. Refresh your browser. And, and this, this error will pop up if your internet connection is slow or, or unstable. Um, or it could be that you, if you're maybe on your desktop trying to open it, it could be a, a privacy setting or, or uh, firewall blocking it. I'm not sure. But anytime I get that message, which I do often, um, because my, I, I kind of live, I live down here in Texas y'all. And so <laughs> the internet, uh, is not awesome. So if I ever get that message where it says connectivity blocker, is that what you're talking about? And it's like a gray screen. You, you can just use your re reload button in your browser, just tap reload. Or you could also try to get onto Wi-Fi. That's what is most um, stable when you're signing in for the first time. So if you're not on Wi-Fi, try that, okay? Um, okay, um, Susie, I'll get to your question in a little bit. Maybe somebody can help you out in the chat box, but um, I, I'm pretty sure, yeah, as long as you've got a browser. Okay, so three screens at the bottom down here, three little tabs, you'll see rewards and lessons. These two tabs are what you will be clicking on the most, okay? Um, so obviously they're pretty self-explanatory. On the rewards tab, you will see the all of our rewards, okay? And you will um, soon, uh, not, not today or not right now, but there, uh, I'm gonna make some changes to the rewards screen here pretty soon. We'll let you search a little bit faster instead of having to pick one of these, okay? So um, you will want to pick one of these before you start trying to type in something. So I'm going to I'm going to tap on all rewards, okay? Because I would just I, I have in mind maybe I want to look at some um, I don't know what do I want to look at some maybe some Dino Stars, okay? So I uh, would tap on all rewards and then you can access the search bar right up here. And when you do that, you would want to type in one or two keywords, okay? Now, it's not case sensitive, so um, definitely know that it's okay if you know something is capitalized or not capitalized. However, it will only yield results of things that have those exact words in the title. So be careful with your search terms. Um, that's just kind of a nuance of, the, of this, but it, it is what it is. Um, so I'm gonna type in dino stars. Like, no, if I typed in something like, like cool boy, dino stars, nothing pops up because there's not a file that has that title. So just use keywords when you're searching. Okay, so I've typed in dino stars and I want to open up some, just some regular old dino stars, okay? So let's see, what do I wanna, okay, this one's my favorite. Okay, I'm gonna tap this one. And you can kind of see like these little thumbnails and stuff. They really help you to remember which one's which. There's a lot of Hello Kitty stuff, like I think like up to 10. And so maybe you'll be able to see which one you used and remember that one. Okay, so I'm tapping this. And now here's where it gets a little bit, um, a, a little bit different for everyone because of everyone's different device, okay? So when you are uh, opening up like a, reward screen like you've tapped a, a search result it's going to show you like a preview image right here and then it allows you to do several things um, one of those being that you can favorite it um, which that those favorites are tied to your email address that you signed in with so remember that always sign in with the same email address and then you can also uh, copy the link to this reward um, because remember google sites everything is online so all of our rewards um, you can open them with a link because they're all online. They're not files that you download. Okay, um, you can select open link or share or if you find an error or on, on something or if you think, oh, this would be perfect for such and such unit, then you would tap make a suggestion, okay? So what I'm going to do is since I am on my browser, and I do not have any of the Google apps, like the yellow, um, the yellow icon. Uh, it, has anybody downloaded that? Maybe kind of trying to play around with things. Um, it's the Google, 
uh, the Google app that you download from the app store and it's called Google Slides. And I, I wish I had a, I wish I had it on my device right now to show you guys, but I took it off. But since I don't have any Google apps on my phone, I would, I would use open link to open up the reward. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Aaron. Everyone look at Aaron's. <laughs> so the little yellow icon. Now here's the thing. You, you can uh, keep it on your phone totally. That's, it's not a big deal. And this is why I say it's hard because everybody's device is different. So Androids have the ability to open multiple things at a time. And so um, that's why we kind of recommend to use the browser for most people because um, on iOS devices, you can only have one thing open at a time, which is a little annoying because you might want to use a reward or a reward and a prop. So using, using this in your browser will help you to open things at, at more than one thing at a time. So I'm going to tap open link. And here is where, um, well, mine's got, hold on. Uh, if this ever happens to you, maybe you're on an iPad, right? Um, and you might get this weird looking layout. Anybody ever have, have that issue? <laughs> oh, Claire, it's okay if you, if it's okay if you take it off the slides app because um, all the files that you ever open on your mobile device, like whether it's for work or for um, VIP kid, it's all housed online on Google drive. So if, if you remove the slides app, it doesn't remove any files. So it's okay, but you know, just do what works for you. So if you ever see this weird layout, like um, you see the slide layout on the side and then you see, you know, just this one thing and you're looking at it and you're like, what do I do? <laughs> like, well, how does this work? Um, here's, here's what you can do on an iOS device. If you're on an Android, you might have to click, find the three dot button and, and find this setting to turn it on, but you can just tap request mobile device. I'll do that again. There's a little option there, request desktop type site or request mobile site. So iPad users tend to run into that problem. But if you are using um, your iPhone, you probably see this screen, right? This is like when you open up a reward, this is what it looks like. Um, questions, send your questions. This is when we kind of start getting some questions. And, and if you don't have questions, great. Um, but don't, don't hesitate. Um, like it's okay. <laughs> you can ask them. Um, so here's what I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and turn my device sideways. Um, because I don't like, I don't want to show my student this, like that's really tiny and it looks weird, right? So I'm going to show my students, I'm going to turn my device sideways. And when I turn my device sideways, it's going to uh, make it full screen. And on some older iOS devices, you might still see that URL bar at the top. And if you notice when I tap things, what? No way. Heather, are you seeing this? Heather? <laughs> Are you there? <laughs> um, anyways, um, so if you're on like an older iOS device, you'll sometimes see that URL bar at the top, and that's really annoying, right? And you don't, yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, so your is that an Android? Yeah, hit play, hit play, Aaron, on yours, and, and then you'll see a screen that looks like mine. Um, so then, oh yeah, present on this device. Oops, my phone locked. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta, I gotta unlock it here again. Okay, so when you when you are um, you know opening a reward or a prop, the gestures for a mobile device, you can either do this, you can swipe, or you can tap. Okay, so swipe or tap. Um, it just depends on your device which one works better. So maybe um, for my student, I might say, okay, hang on, I got it. I'm gonna. I'm going to reload this. Oh my it's gosh, that was the best thing you just did. I was so stressed. I couldn't get it to do anything. Yeah, I didn't yeah. know the play. <laughs> <laughs> it's easily overlooked. And, and that's why, um, honestly, though, like the Slides app, it's great for on Android devices. But you may find on Chrome, on Chrome, it might, oh, I don't know, be less taps for you. Because if you have it, a Sidekick open in Chrome and you just tap open link, you'll bypass all of that whole play present. On okay. The device. Hey, I'll take whatever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> whatever works. Yeah. So I can, I can um, t swipe or tap. And when I do that, I will see things pop up. Now it depends on what reward or what thing you're using. Right. Um, 
but you might say, okay, oh, when you do a good job today, you get a dino star, you know, and maybe you can uh, build the anticipation a little bit. Like what color do you see? Huh? Blue, blue. Oh yes. Blue. And then you're like, oh, wow. Is that a blue dino? You know, you really want to play it up. Um, rewards and things like that and any sort of technology that you use or any prop that you use, you want to really give them that energy to feed off of. So it's all about presentation, right? Um, so this is, uh, um, Jasia, this is using Safari, okay? Um, how to go away with iPhone. Okay, Chrome. yeah, that's what I was wondering. So I, maybe, I'm, I'm showing. show me yours, your um, device. Let's see. So if you're on an iOS device, yeah, if you're on an iOS device and it's you're using Chrome, there is no full screen button. So it's annoying, but what you can do is use Safari. And then I have some other I have some other suggestions for um you know uh like other browsers too. Oh, clear. It, that's weird. It shouldn't say that, but um it depends on what file you open. If you want to send the link, we can check it out because that shouldn't, it shouldn't be showing you that. <laughs> um, but uh, is it opening up in, in this layout? Let me ask you this. Is it opening up like, um, like this? Let's see. Um, like the thing that I just showed a little bit ago. Well, now it's not letting me do it. It's like a, a layout of the slides on the um, side of the screen. No, it has the copy link, open link. Oh, is it like um, a white screen or something? Yeah, it was at the very beginning. And then when I was trying to copy link, it takes me to this. Weird. That I need. Yes, it is very weird. Um. Okay, so maybe like this one, like was it a, a file? At the... Right, just, the, just back the other one. When oh, this one? Yes, that. After I... After uh -huh. I after I selected a I just randomly picked a, a reward. Yeah. And then I hit copy link and oh, then cool. there. Okay. And then it I see. I don't know. Is it is it um showing any sort of pictures or anything? No. So it doesn't look like this? No. Okay. And I'll go back, just, and, I'll so go back and re I'll go back and refresh it. Oh I'm sorry. Well no, Claire, this happens. I kid you not, it happens. Um all the time uh, because we have so many files it's hard to kind of keep up with what's already been trashed because we go through and oh, clean up. Okay. so okay. it could have just been the one link that you tried to open of course <laughs> <laughs> it happens all the time it's really okay. funny too I'll, I'll um, pick another one I feel like last time we did one of the beginner sessions somebody the first link they opened was a yeah okay. when something we had removed a while back okay okay so this is, um, so let me just go ahead and say again on the, okay, slide kick here. Um, so if you're wanting to save something for next time, or you're wanting to remember, oh man, I really like this. This is so cute. I can tap this little favorites part and I'll find it in my favorites um, from then on every time that I sign in with my email address. So if I back, go back, you'll see over here under favorites, okay? And you can search your favorites too. That's another fun thing. So I have only two favorites saved, but um, if I, you know, saved something that was different, then I could search my favorites too. So maybe if I say stars. Um, anyways, so yeah, sir, you can search your favorites too. Um, can you show how fave, fave oh um, yeah, sure. So when you are on this screen where you're searching all rewards, Pam, you can go over once you've once you've tapped the heart on one reward you'll see this favorites option on the side and that's when you'll be able to see your favorite so what is find a star so thanks that's a good that's a good segue doreen because all of our instructions for different reward types and the definitions uh and some suggestions for use were all written and and put together by heather and um, you can find all of those directions and everything on this menu here. So I uh, just tap the star button anytime you wanna go back to the reward screen. You know, maybe you're really far deep into some searching and then you're like, what do, how do I get back to the home screen? Just tap on rewards and it will always take you back to this screen here, okay? And you can tap on reward types and under this menu, you can actually see um, a description for all of our reward types and how to play them. So can you yeah. open another reward? Yes. Just to, 
Okay. I'm yeah, definitely. Because I'm Let's, right. I'm there now. Awesome. But, awesome. Okay. Let's go ahead and hop over to lessons. Okay. Okay. Um, so I'm going to, I have open, I'll go ahead and open that back up. As you can, you can see, I just tapped the star to go back home. Let me open up that star one again, and then we will, let's see, I'm going to hit open link and I'm going to request a mobile oh. site. If your oh. iPad is doing this, like where it's opening in um, layout, like edit mode. Yeah. Try that. Um, so now I'm over here on the reward and I'm like, how do I get back oh. and, how do I get back and open up something else? I can tap my my tab button here. Okay, now it's on different devices, it's different, but you'll just tap tabs and then you would go back to Slidekick, right? And then you could go over, let's say that maybe I have this lesson right here, MC level two, unit eight, okay? And I want to open up maybe a prop file for that. So what I would do is I'd go over to lessons and from there I can, search that lesson. Um, now, uh, I suggest always searching by like the lesson code, but all those dashes can get a little redundant, but that's the most reliable way. But I know that this lesson has something to do with colors. So I'm going to type colors and there we go. I've got this right here. I can search by lesson name too. So um, I can pull up, uh, let's say I have a class for lesson four. And so I would tap this folder. And then I could see all of our um, resources for this lesson, okay? Um, so let's see, hold on. Okay, um, so I'm going to go ahead and, and scroll down. So I'm just taking my, my finger and just scrolling down. And I can see that, that um, Slidekick has four types of resources available for this lesson. So there are three uh, sets sets of or Google Slides sets that go along with the lesson and so let's tap that and we just recently added some of those um, last edited dates on there so you on this list here you can see that I've got um, three teachers who have contributed files for this lesson and that's uh, the dates underneath are when it was last edited okay so that's just to help you out to pick something that's more um, uh, recent because um, they change the lessons frequently. So I'm going to tap, I'm going to tap on Dinah's here and I'm going to, I'm going to tap on open link again. Okay. So when I tap open link, it's going to do the same thing. It's going to open. This is so annoying. Why does it keep doing this? <laughs> oh, that's why. Okay. I'm going to turn that off. There we go. Okay. <laughs> so this is the prop file for that lesson. And maybe I want to toggle between the two, right? So what I would do is I would tap on the tab button and then I can just quickly switch between the two. All right. So um, let's see, I'm going to tap back and forth and then I can, I can turn my device sideways and I can do that same, same bit here. Maybe this has a um, like something about a tomato or something about red on the lesson. And so I just tap through. I see all these pictures, additional pictures for the lesson that I could use. I can just turn my device right back up sideways and, and then maybe tap up there and go back to Slidekick, right? And maybe I want to use some feedback or an extension reward. I can choose one of those too. So we have feedback um, templates for a lot of those lessons. And you would have to replace the placeholder with your student's name, but we've got lots of options or different templates that teachers have contributed. So. Um, feedback is a, is a pretty quick and easy breeze too. Yeah. Um, let's see. Okay. Questions. Send a question. Anybody? We've got, we're a little bit over on time, but that's okay with me. I, I don't mind. <laughs> All right. Okay. So let's see any questions specifically about any of these screens or kind of what I just showed you, or is anybody Running into some steps, some I steps where you're, yeah, go ahead. Okay, how do I exit? This? Ah, yes, <laughs> good question. So, you can actually turn your device back up, up uh, sideways, and what does okay. it do? Okay, do you see an X on the very bottom or top? Yeah, no, no, oh. are you using your browser or on um, slides app? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. So. Here, can you pull, hold it up one more time so I can see it? I 
I think, hold on. Here, yeah, sh hold it up one more time to the screen that it's stuck on. Did it go? Well, yes. Hang on. Oh, I'm, good. I had to, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Hi, you're good, you're good. It's okay. Okay. I, I like to help and I want to help and I want everybody who comes to the session to, to be able to, to leave having learned something. Um, so oh, Holly, if gosh. it's, if it's not right. letting you X out, it might just be that you're, you need to tap on the very top of your screen or on the very bottom. Yeah. Very top or very bottom. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think I was in Chrome and now it's like, it acts like it's reloading. Oh, 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 you're using your iPad. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I see something. Hold it up again. Hold it up again. Okay. So there, you see the yellow, um, uh, the, the white icon with the yellow on it and it says slides. Yes. That's what, that? that's, well, um, no, <laughs> I would say no. Um, yes, that's it. Okay. Well, here's the thing. The, that, um, app the slides app specifically, it, it will not let you open multiple things at a time. So you can only have one. So that's why it's taking up your whole screen because it's only letting you use one thing at a time. So if you remove it uh, from your device, it's not okay. going to delete any files from slides or, or your Google Drive, but just take okay. that yellow icon off. And when you're in Safari and you tap open link, it won't open in, in that other app. It will open in a new tab in your browser, yeah. But is there, oh, <laughs> you're good. You're do good. I just have to use the home button to get rid of it? Well, like, tap, on, tap on the very top left hand side, very top left hand side. Yeah. Tap and there should be a little flat. There it goes. An X out. Yes. That's yeah. what, uh, yeah. So, um, and that's, if you like the slides app, I mean, honestly, that's fine. It just do whatever works for you. Um, and well, I just, just downloaded it because I thought that's what we were going to use. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can actually remove it just because on um, Safari, it is less, uh, there are less steps because when you just tap open link, it opens up ready to start swiping through. So instead of Thank having you. to hit play. Right. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, let me get to some of these questions here. So yeah. Uh, I'm so happy you're, you're happy to use it, Rachel. Yay. Um, the sli some slides do contain sound, but not many. I will say that, Nic Nicoletta. Um, it's not, not many have sound, you know, just because. Um, yes. Um, so I do the feedback from the version that's on my MacBook Pro. Mm -hmm. I just copy, and I copy the link and yeah. put it in the classroom and edit. Is that how you do it? Yeah, yeah, you can do that. So then, like... On your MacBook, you mean um, the templates that are on uh, SlideKick or in yeah, uh, okay. for the computer? And I yeah. think I have it loaded correctly. It's working. I mean, I, it, hey. it, it comes up under Safari, but I don't know if I've made it a favorite yet. Yeah, you don't have to if you don't want to, but it's um, just for quicker access. Yeah. It doesn't matter on your MacBook Pro. It could be under Google or Safari. Right. Yes, exactly. Okay. Yeah, so just any browser. That's what I, I love about it because um, it, it, it's compatible across all devices, all browsers. So yeah. it's just treat it like a website. Copy feedback, I put it right in the classroom. And yeah. yeah, exactly. And on your, on your, I should mention, this is a very important thing to mention, <laughs> on your computer and on your iPads, Slidekick is going to appear as a phone. And I know it's so weird and I don't like it, but there, I can't really affect it. Um, so it looks like a little phone. Um, so we could just uh, think that that's really cool, <laughs> but it is a smaller screen. So you might have to do some, you know, situating with your zoom and if any of the scrolling and the button pressing and any of those features stop working, just zoom out and you should, you should see uh, that fixed. Okay. Okay. Oh, good question, Doreen. Um, so the reason that we have that copy link button is, you know, um, I really want it. I, I've, I've really wanted to, to remove it lately, but I haven't just because I don't like to rock the boat with uh, people who have been using it for a long time. The copy link button is um, something that we used to really recommend for um, people that were using Psychic in uh, from their home screen. Um, when we first launched the app, we told uh, the, our directions were pretty straightforward, like 
download it to, you know, click add to home screen and you're good and you have an app on your phone, right? But then we realized quickly that when they tapped open, it would open in Sidekick's browser, which is not conducive to Google Sites. So that's where the copy link button came from. And we're, we're trying to kind of phase that out, but it's something that's useful still for a lot of people that use it on their desktop maybe, and they're prepping for classes and they want to um, open a bunch of links on their iPad later so they can open up a note or something and just paste a bunch of links and, and be ready to tap, tap, tap and open things. So, um, but the copy link button, if you're using Slidekick in your browser and you don't have the Google apps installed on your phone, that um, it will auto open the files if you do uh, you want to remove those and then the open link will work for everything so Claire she can use Safari in the header one way yeah yeah um, Safari is um, if your iOS device is up to date like you're you're running iOS uh, what 13.2.2 uh, I think is the recent one but okay. if, you're, if you've got an updated iOS device the the little bar at the top um, should be able to hide it by uh, tapping on your little AA button at the top. But oh, okay. Um, yeah, and you can tap a hide toolbar. Oh, and I then, see. Got yeah, it. and then hold on. Oh, <laughs> I thought I heard my son again. Um, so uh, before we leave, because we're going to go ahead and say say au revoir. Yes, there will be a recording. Um, yeah, Susie, um, the URL bar will show at the top. If you, if you turn your device sideways, it should go away, but sometimes it doesn't. So let me show you what I recommend and what I often use on my, my device is the Cake Browser. This is an awesome uh, speedy browser that works well on Android devices and iOS devices um, and that allow things to be full screen. And you won't ever see that URL bar at the top when you turn your device sideways. So that's definitely something that, that you can check out. So... Let me just show you that in action. Um, so if I go to slide kick and I think I'm signed in. Yes, I still am signed in. Yay. Well, on, on your, on cake browser, cake browser. Oh, here, I'll type that. Hold on. Let's see. I'm going to, I'm here. Okay. Cake web browser. That's what you would search for. Okay. In your app store. It's something, that, oops. Is something that you would want to um, download from the Google Play Store or the App Store. But this browser is really awesome because what you can actually do is you can um, you can see everything full screen. I don't know if you notice the difference there, but I don't have my URL bar. Like when I start scrolling, I don't see my URL bar. And maybe I want to open up that, you know, star thing that I was just looking at. I can open it up and whenever it's fully loaded, I can actually turn my device sideways and everything stays full screen and that URL bar never pops up. So that browser is a really good browser. You can check that out for sure. Um, so um, any questions before we kind of close everything out and, uh, and I, start I have a, I home? have a question. Um, yeah. When I would, when I would uh, prepare for my classes, mm -hmm. I would, um, basically have all of the I would have all the lessons and tabs at the top of mm -hmm. my Google slides right. am I able to do that with this with the cake browser yes yes okay. so it actually in my opinion is way better than Safari or Chrome or any other browser it's very speedy and the cool thing I like about um, about it is that it has uh, all of the tabs are like tiles if that okay. makes sense. They're uh, yeah. little tiles. And you, um, now as far as the different um, lesson names or file names, I think you can, I'm not positive, but I think you can actually see them once you open up. Okay. Maybe let me open it up. Let's see. It might just say docs. I don't know. Let's okay. Look. So if I hit this, I can kind of see it a little bit. It's really tiny, but if you if you prefer that um, file name as the tab yeah. name, then Safari might be the way to go. Okay. Yeah. But 
And I've also noticed though, that if I don't delete this, the slide tab, mm -hmm. because of course I'm old school and you know, you move my cheese and everything, but, <laughs> um, but if I pulled something up on um, the slide kick, it's still, I was able to find it in the, in yes. the slides. Yes, exactly. Okay. It's, um, as long as in your browser, in your phone's uh -huh. browser, if you're still signed in, um, to like drive, maybe at one right. point you signed in to drive on your browser, everything you open in Sidekick will show in your slides app. So okay. That's, that's perfect. Yeah. Okay. Made me really <laughs> nervous. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. it's, it's definitely a change from our old um, way of accessing resources. And there are some extra taps, you know, that I'm not super fond of, but it is, right. um, but it is something that is, has exponentially helped with uh, people who aren't as savvy with, you know, spreadsheets, which is a whole lot of people, you know? So, so, so if I, so if I'm preparing, I can go ahead and find it in slide hick and it'll download it in my Google slides. And exactly. then when I, my lessons, it'll be in Google slides. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> let's see, let's see a matter of going back to it. Yes, exactly. During, so you're to open two files at once, you would, <sighs> you would uh, just toggle between tabs. Okay. Now, if you're wanting to um, maybe uh, make it a little more streamlined, uh, you, you know, as far as clicking between two different things, you might look into maybe webcam software or, or, or something, but uh, because, you know, a quick mouse click and you're still looking at your camera is way easier. But if you're using your mobile device and needing to switch between something, I suggest just holding your, your mobile device right up next to your camera. Like that's what I'm doing right now. And it's only just like a slight eye, you know, tilt away. And I don't look like I'm distracted. You know what I mean? I should start saying that at the beginning. <laughs> that's a good tip. Um, all right. So let's see. Um, Claire just said about uploading to your lesson. No, I'm not sure. Um, I don't know, Doreen. I think she's talking about her uh, Drive account. I think she was talking about saving it to her Google Drive, which you can do that too if you want. How do you get back? So, Doreen, maybe um, you might try just hitting your tab button right. on your yeah, browser. Think, yeah. did, did you figure it out? Yes, I did. Awesome. I okay, just, good. It sounded like she was able to put it right into her lesson. So, when she, not the lesson itself, but her notes to put right. on. Right. Oh yeah, I think she meant. Oh, if if it was in the materials, if she if, are you talking about like in VIP Kid or how they have mm -hmm. that materials section? Yeah, you could yeah. totally do that. But here, yes, you're welcome to do that, and you can actually do that by tapping on um, copy link, and you can paste it to your materials on the portal. However, don't share with share it with others. That that's our right. one request right. as far as the materials section. So I think there is a way that you can just save it to yourself um, instead right. versus share it with others. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Well, guys, I am going to um, let you guys let you guys go on and and send uh, questions that you have about Sidekick. You can send any question you have on the group, and we have thousands and thousands of awesome members and helpful moderators that answer any questions you might have. All right. Okay. Oh, thank, thank you, you guys. So much. Yeah. Well, have a wonderful Sunday afternoon, and I will see you guys next time. So always feel free to check our events tab and learn something new. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.